In March 2022, the Royal Air Force Museum welcomed an exciting new addition to the collection. The Boeing Chinook makes for an imposing presence with its height of nearly 19 feet and its twin sets of rotor blades spanning almost 100 feet. When in flight, it could carry around 10 tonnes of cargo at nearly 200 miles an hour, while its distinctive waka waka sound was unmistakable. This is impressive in its own right, but the museum's Chinook has its own proud history to tell. ZA-718, known popularly by its call sign of Bravo November, was one of the original batch of Chinooks ordered by the RAF back in 1978. Since then, it has served during the Falklands conflict, the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and in Afghanistan. In a 40-year career, four of her pilots have been awarded Distinguished Flying Cross, or DFC, for actions while at her controls. Bravo November has gained a reputation as an incredible survivor, and it all started back in 1982. Bravo November was one of four Chinooks on board the Atlantic Conveyor, a merchant navy ship that was steaming down south carrying supplies for the British task force assigned to retake the Falkland Islands from Argentine occupation. On the 25th of May, Bravo November was airborne when the Atlantic Conveyor was struck by two Exocet missiles fired by two Argentine Navy Super Etentard strike fighters. In the ensuing explosion and fire, the three Chinooks still on board the ship were destroyed, together with all the spare parts and servicing equipment. Bravo November was now the only British heavy lift helicopter remaining in the theatre. Through the skill of her ground crew, Bravo November was kept flying for the duration of the campaign, carrying a total of 2,150 troops, 95 casualties, 650 prisoners of war, and 550 tonnes of stores. The logistical contribution that she made to the outcome of the conflict cannot be overstated. However, Bravo November was nearly lost for a second time. On the 30th of May, she was returning from a mission to deliver artillery to a hilltop location. While flying with visibility limited by a heavy snow shower, she struck the sea owing to faulty instrumentation. The fuselage was damaged, and an antennae in the co-pilot's door were gone. The engines were partially flooded, but miraculously she was able to get airborne. For this action, squadron leader Dick Langworthy was awarded the first of the four DFCs to be awarded to Bravo November pilots over the next four decades. Now preserved in the museum, Bravo November has been a witness to some incredible events and individual acts of bravery. She can be seen displayed in the RAF Museum Midlands Hangar 1, alongside our Harrier GR3, another veteran of the Falklands campaign. Getting Bravo November to the museum from its home base at RAF Odium in Hampshire was no easy thing. The weather on the day of its journey was atrocious, and a few tight corners on the way made for some interesting turns. Upon arrival, it took another few days to partially rebuild her into display condition. The museum is very grateful for assistance provided by colleagues at RAF Odium, RAF Cosford and the Joint Aircraft Recovery and Transport Squadron.